The equipment you'll need to perform reproducible jointing of the DuraPipe PLX Close Fit Secondary Containment System includes a DuraPipe PLX wheel cutter, a PLX Surprep multi kit, a hand scraper, a DuraPipe PLX pipe protection sleeve, a DuraPipe PLX Close Fit pipe clamp, wax pencil, DuraPipe isopropanol wipes, and a DuraPipe PLX electrofusion control unit. Measuring tape. Clean gloves should be worn to prevent contamination. The primary pipe is a loose fit and centralised within the secondary pipe using the integral ribs in the secondary pipe. Measure the socket depth of the fitting plus an additional 20 millimetres. Mark the outside of the striped pipe with a wax pencil. It's important to make sure the pipe is cut clean and square so therefore a wheel cutter is best suited for this job. The use of a wheel cutter ensures a square cut and swore free pipe. Insert the pipe protection sleeve into the interstitial space between the striped secondary pipe and the primary pipe. Cut the secondary pipe. Mark the primary pipe to the socket depth plus an additional 10 millimetres. Place the preparation tool onto the shaft and slide along by depressing the release button to disengage the drive until the cutter tip is aligned with the marked socket depth. Position the cutter tip 1mm above the pipe surface. Apply the spring tension to the cutter tip. Then rotate the tool clockwise until the cutter has moved over the full length of the pipe. A continuous ribbon of PE material should have been removed. Mark the secondary pipe to approximately 100mm. Remove the external oxidised surface of the secondary pipe by using a hand scraper. The oxidised surface must be removed by scraping. The use of emery cloth is not sufficient to achieve adequate fusion. Ensure that this layer has been removed completely. Hand scrape the outside of the secondary fittings. Wipe the pipe and fitting surfaces with the isopropanol wipes to ensure a clean surface. Ensure that all the pipes and associated spigot fittings are marked with the socket depth and wipe accordingly. Push the fittings onto the pipes, making sure the secondary containment closures are in position on the containment pipe. Ensure the correct insertion to the marked positions. Repeat for both sockets. Secure with the DuraPipe PLX Close Fit Pipe Clamp Set. Note the fusion time shown on the outside of the secondary contained fitting. Attach the reusable terminal adapters to the flying leads. Connect the terminal adapters to the flying leads on the primary fitting. Then connect the leads from the electrofusion control unit onto these terminal adapters. Doesn't matter which lead connector is attached to either terminal. Enter the fusion time by using the up and down buttons. Press the green button to proceed. DuraPipe supplies both manual and barcode electrofusion units. The barcode machines have a barcode reader, which the operator uses to input the necessary data. At the end of the fusion cycle, the indicators will rise. After welding, remove the terminal adapters. The flying leads can then be trimmed or tucked away. If the primary fitting has terminals, remove these terminals as they serve no further purpose following the welding. This positions the secondary containment pipe work correctly. Place the secondary containment closures to the marked positions. Connect the leads from the electrofusion control unit to the terminals on the secondary containment closure. It doesn't matter which lead connector is attached to either terminal. Note the weld time shown on the fittings and weld these joints. At the end of the fusion cycle, the indicators will rise. After the cooling time, as shown on the fitting, insert the mushroom caps.